Okay, so here we have the next Creative Clash of Clans project I'm working on. As you can see, it's the Valkyrie's Battle Axe. Uh, as I say, you can see I've got it all drawn out already. Uh, took me about an hour to do this. I kind of made up the measurements because there's no blueprint for the actual axe from Clash of Clans. Uh, but what I did do. Uh, like the previous project, the Barbarian Sword, I pretty much just went online, uh, looked at a few reference images and done like a concept sketch. Uh, all drawn out, ready to go, ready for cut out, got all my parts done. So yeah, it's got to look cool. Uh, the pommel, I'm going to paint that kind of like a brassy gold colour. Uh, the long handle part, I'm going to try and find some kind of leather strap to wrap around it, give it a nice curved edge. Uh, this this bolt here, that's, that's going to be a brassy gold colour as well. The axe head itself will be a couple of shades of grey, uh, so that look cool. And the end bolt will again be a brass coloured gold. Uh, I opted for a couple of kinks in the axe. I never, I didn't see any of these in the reference images but by adding those I, f I just think it'll look cool. And yeah, I'll go ahead and cut this out and I'll see you in a bit. Okay so that's all my parts cut out. Uh, it took me about an hour and a half, I had a bit of trouble with my scroll saw, with blades breaking and what have you. Uh, but yeah, it took a little bit of time. Uh, you can see this middle bit, the plan is, just move that down, so it's kind of seamless, until, because that get glued on there. Uh, kind of round it off, if you like, to make it seamless. Uh, you probably notice I've got a different thickness of MDF for those. Where is it? And that's for my bolts. Like that. Uh, pommel. Same thickness. I'm going to get that glued on and round it off and smooth down and again make that seamless. But yeah, it turned out pretty well the cut. Next stage, uh, clean up the shed. I've literally got sawdust coming up my ears. So I have a little tidy up, clean up. Uh, I need to sand down my parts because they've still got rough edges. And yeah, sand it all down, get it ready for painting, give it a primer and then all the normal colours. Okay so that's all the rough edges sanded down. Uh, you, as you can see I've gone ahead and mounted all my parts, um, I've already done the pommel part here, uh, purely for the fact I didn't have too many clamps so I ran out and that was the first one I'd done. But yeah, so far so good. Uh, to literally wait for this to dry now and the next step is to sand things down to make them seamless and true and make them look good. Okay guys so I got partly through the uh, sanding stage uh, everything's looking pretty cool at the moment you can see the pommel I got rounded off looking good uh, this part rounded off you can see here I got um, some white wood filler just to fill in the gaps, filled that in let it dry, sanded it down so we've got a nice smooth edge there, all that's all rounded off, looking good. But I did, I kept looking at it thinking, what is wrong? I just couldn't get my finger on it. And I, I went back to my uh, concept reference image back there. I uh, looked online, looked at some more images I found online. I just, and I just felt the curve was just all wrong. I mean, you look at it, it looks like some sort of Batman totem pole. And yeah, just just not sitting right with me at the moment. So I've decided to uh, 
cut a little bit more off to make it look more like an axe. I just don't like this curve. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and line all these up. I've roughly put in the lines what I want it to look like. Uh, so I'll go ahead and cut those off and carry on, finish the sand in and uh, I'll get back to you in a bit. Okay, so that's the sanding stage done. Um, I've added acrylic paint here on top of this part. Uh, sanded that down to give it a nice smooth texture and feel. Uh, sharpen the edge of the axe. As you see, that looks pretty cool and I'm happy with that. Also, I've mended the kink i done there. If you remember, I had two. I had that one this one. I uh, wasn't happy, it just didn't look right. And I fixed that, and that's turned out pretty well and seamless. And yeah, it's all looking good. It's all sanded up, ready for painting now. Uh, I'll be using all surface primer, spray paint job really done fast and quick and yeah I'll see you in a bit okay so that's the primer done uh, next stage is for the main paint job uh, also want to mark out some lines here because I'm doing this two shades of grey it's going to be like the darker grey and the lighter grey uh, grey there okay so I got the main paint job done um, I'm happy with it, it's looking good. Uh, so yeah, I've got the two shades of grey there. Got the sharpened end, the lighter grey. Uh, just going to let that dry now and then sort out the handle. Uh, I bought this stuff, uh, pretty cheap, it's 150 a metre. Uh, I've got four metres, so hopefully I've got enough. Uh, what I'm going to do there is just get that glued on, stapled on, what have you. Uh, I think that looks good next to the yellow. So I've got the right colour of that stuff. That's awesome. So yeah, just wait for that dry, sort the hander out, and it should be finished. So, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so that's the project finished, guys. That's how I made a Clash of Clans a Valkyrie Balalax. And yeah, it's turned out pretty well. I enjoyed doing it and I'm really happy with the end result. So yeah, if you have a go yourself, make your own. You know, be sure to subscribe if you want to see some more cool Clash of Cans uh, creative stuff. Because uh, I've got loads more planned. Let's see, I've got the Pekka thing. I've got the Barbarian King Sword, I've got the Witch's Staff, uh, Hog Rider's Hammer, Crossbow, Queen's Crossbow, what else is there? Loads of other stuff anyway. But yeah, be sure to subscribe if you want to see some more. And that's the Clash of Clans Valkyrie Battle Axe. Thanks for watching.